Good morning, folks. <clears throat> Shaver of the day. Here's my feather shavette. I think this is like the eighth shave on this blade. And here's the kind of blade I'm using in it. Soap of the day. Through the fire of fine craft. I have to read it because that's a long name. That's tender love and care. Aftershave balm I'm going to be using is Venue Lang. Got my trusty Allen block with the rubber band. My witch hazel. Here's my beard balm I've been using here recently. And that's what it looks like. Kind of goes better with uh, my color of beard. <laughs> I've already used the hot, hot towel for the pre-shave. Bloom water has been put on my face. I think I'll probably need to wet my face just a little bit more. And the brush of the day, Omega Bore. You see I've already got some whipped up. Go ahead and get started here. Some may already know. That this is a pretty good soap. Made in Michigan. I mean, look at this. This is... Not a whole lot of work here. And I mean the brush is just full of soap. It takes no time at all to get it loaded. I'll show you what the consistency of the soap looks like. Got this through a pass around. It's very soft. easy to work with. Here's first pass. So far with um, this particular blade Normally, right about now, I'll, um, in the past few times I've used this blade and gotten to um, eight, nine shaves on the blade. Been a little bit of tugging. For some reason, this one here has been doing pretty good. Yeah, you can see how much slick, slickness this is on with this soap. It shave at doesn't have a problem going back over, back over the same spot. I do have a, uh, I guess you might say, a backup plan, and I usually do have one set up and ready to go in case, uh, uh, say, like the blade starts to get a little bit dull. Starts tugging a bit more than what I care for. I've got a DE shaver set set up, ready to go. The one I've got set up right now is one a uh, a one from Jam and GI James. James, um, it's got the mentor head, the more aggressive head on it. It's loaded with a shark uh, super chrome. This is nice soap.
listened to a little bit of the news this morning on the radio while I was getting prepared and heard there was an earthquake in Italy. I do follow a few wet shavers from Italy. Hope everybody's doing well. I mean, here in Oklahoma, I mean, we have earthquakes, but nothing quite like that. All right, I'm going to re-wet the face for pass number two. Most of our earthquake, earthquakes stay below the four-point range. I can still, yeah, the sand is still present with the soap. Feels good. Should be able to get eight, I mean, ten shaves, at least ten shaves out of this blade. I think one time I got thirteen. When you get that many shaves out of one blade, that definitely reduces that cost per blade. I mean, your first initial cost seems to be expensive for no more blades than what you're getting compared to DE blades. Twelve, thirteen dollars and you get, what, twenty blades? But once you start factoring in how many shaves you get out of each blade, the cost per blade does drop. But I still enjoy shaving. Oh, by the way, yeah, see. Got plenty enough for the next day if you wanted to. If it would stay, uh, not dry out on you. Pass number two against the grain. I usually do go with just a two or two and a half pass shave. Got a little bit of a spot right there. Is the it's a very small mole. You have to be kind of careful with it. <laughs> yeah, otherwise I'll be bleeding. We are getting close to that season. college football starts. Blade's still doing well. Feels good. Alright, time for a little bit of a rinse here. I'm going to see what the Allen block has to say about the shave. I haven't seen a video here recently, but I'm sure Steve Walker is getting pretty excited about the college season starting. He's probably busy. Uh, 
refing some uh, soccer games. Yeah, feels like a good shave. Alan Block. I guess you might say for me it's just the usual stinging in the usual spots, nothing unusual. It was a good shave this morning. Which hazel? going to be using the um, aftershave balm. This one here is cognac and uh, Cubans. Face has been feeling a little, little dried out by the end of the day. Been outside a little bit more. feel like I may put just a little bit too much in my hand here. <laughs> if you haven't, this scent, it's hard to describe. At least for me it is, to put it in words. Outside that, it, it smells great. If you're following my uh, postings, I think I think tomorrow I have um, an injector, and I have um, I've yet to use an injector on a regular basis, and I think tomorrow I'm going to start using one to get a feel on how an injector feels, how much different it might be than let's say using a gem with a different you know single edge blade. Everybody, stay cool and. Uh, Smooth shaves to you.